Yesterday we discussed Shema and the marching orders of Shema, the idea that Mishabur discusses that we're supposed to have in mind when we say Shema, that we're even supposed to give our lives for Hashem. And that comes from the Akiva, that comes from his Marich Be'echad. And I would like to shift to the other side of Shema and another story from, from this time from the Torah. Rabbi Bressler mentioned the other day about the Shema that Yaakov said as he's on his deathbed. But there's an earlier Shema as well that of Yaakov. When Yaakov meets Yosef, the Pasuk tells us that they fall upon each other. And Rashi says that Yaakov, only Yosef was crying. Yaakov wasn't crying. And why wasn't Yaakov crying? Because he was saying Shema. What exactly does this mean? What are Chazal telling us? Was it like Yaakov looked at his watch? He realized, oh my gosh, it's almost Zman Kriya Shema. I can't cry right now. I have to say Shema. Of course not. There is something unique and, and, and special about why Yaakov is saying Shema. And we mentioned that Shema is a declaration of Emuna. And really, if you think about this story, shouldn't it have been the opposite? Shouldn't Yaakov have been the one who is crying? Yaakov finally sees his child that he thought potentially was dead. Yaakov is finally reunited. Wouldn't Yaakov be the one who's crying? And the answer is that Yaakov at this moment, his whole life, the last 22 years, he had been asking, why did I suffer so much? I almost lost a son. And he realized that that moment, Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad, everything comes from God. And I know it now. I caught a glimpse of Hashem as Elokim. And I know that everything comes from Hashem Echad. Look at this world. Ya- Yosef ends up with the pit and then being sold and then with Asha's Potiphar and then in prison and then the dreams. And he's now the viceroy of Egypt and the Jews have a place to go to unite, to come together, to be saved and to build themselves up as the, as the Jewish people. And Yaakov Avinu realizes that's, that he, he got a glimpse of what it means that God is in control. The past 22 years was all toward that end. And that's why Yaakov exclaimed, that's why he says Shema. Now, no matter what happens in our lives, it all comes from the same source. And perhaps that's what we think about when we say Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. We think about the fact that we accept everything upon myself, that we accept all the mitzvahs, we accept the responsibility that comes with it. We accept, like Rabbi Akiva does, that I am willing, I am so part of this process and this relationship that I'm willing to give myself. And that ultimately, as I go through my day, day by day, I declare with emuna to Hashem, Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. It's a reminder to myself that things are going to happen. And I have to understand that there is a larger picture and that all of it, all of it comes from Hashem.